Hello, fellow internet rock hounds. That is a crinoid calyx fossil in Chert that my friend was nice enough to give me. She gave me some other stuff too that I'm going to show off at the end of the video here. And in this video, I have a real treat for you. I went back to the creek where I found cool geodized fossil crinoid calyxes. Found some covered in cool beakite chalcedony. Bam. Wouldn't even know about what these geodes are or beakite or anything without the Facebook group. Indiana's Fabulous Geodes and Fossils. Highly recommend that group to everybody. Even if you don't live in Indiana, they'll let you join. And it was some people from Wisconsin in that group that told me about the creek where you find these, which is actually located about a 10 minute drive from my house. So come with me and check it out. All right, just got to the creek. I was gonna go and hunt up that direction. But as you can see, there's a lot of water to cross to get to the gravel up there. So I think I'm gonna go down this way. This is the way I went last time. All right, the allure of the unexplored spot was too great. I just waded across all of that. But I made it, you can see. I had to stand on my tippy toes for part of it. But I'm going to check out the spot that I didn't check out last time. Oh, spotted a good one, I think. You see it? Yeah, that's what we're looking for. Oh. Ah. Man, I think it already got broken, but yeah, that's a cool one. Okay, got to throw stuff in the bucket here. I haven't gone very far. Today, I brought two buckets. I got a bucket inside my bucket. Scored this little bucket. Uh, come on, guy. On the side of the road. Um, when we went to that road cut place, found this on the way back, so that's awesome. My plan is I'm gonna fill up this little bucket and when it gets full, I'm gonna set it down, keep going, fill this big guy halfway up, and then come back, pick up the little bucket, and anything else I find, I can put in the big bucket. We'll see. All right, just found this one here. That was the part that was sticking up. I think this is definitely a geodized fossil. I think these are crinoid calyx. And I think during the multiple hydrothermal events that happened in Missouri that made the uh, Drews Quartz and the Quartz in Arkansas and a lot of the other quartz, that's what made these geodes and all the uh, crinoid calyx fossils were just perfect little hollow spaces for this quartz and chalcedony to form inside. And now we have these cool fossil geodes here. I love creeks. Never know what you're gonna get. Look at that, two of them right next to each other. Already busted. But whatever, they're cool. Go in the bucket. Let's see this guy. Yeah, normally I wouldn't take that, but that has some cool crystals in it. And it's small, so it'll go in the bucket. I always really like creeks. You never know what you'll find. Sometimes the stuff is kind of banged up, but the good thing is you always get stuff moving around and you get new stuff. You don't have to dig any holes. And you never know what you might find. I'm still looking for that mammoth tooth. It's out there. 
Ugh, gotta wade through these weeds. Ooh, to grab that geode right there. All right, look at that thing. Worth it. Look at those cool crystals in there. Check that. There's more of that beakite. Let's see if that guy is whole. I think it's busted. Yeah, it's busted. Might be cool though if we cleaned it up. I'm gonna take it just because the backside is cool. All right. Been uh, forgetting to look for fossils here. Oh, had my uh, mind in geode vision. All right. Normally I don't go for hag stones, but. This one is a Druzy Hagstone and chart. Nice. Definitely going in the bucket here. Little bucket still not full up. Nice crinoid imprint. Yeah. Yeah, we're getting into it now. All right, we got some more beakite here. Kind of broken. But man, it's cool. All right, so I just found this guy here. And it has some more of that kind of beakite on the exterior. And the inside looked interesting, so I went and washed it off in the creek. And I think that's calcite that's been exposed for a minute and is kind of weathering. So he goes in the bucket. I just spotted this one, which was really cool. I think this is a geodized uh, brachiopod. I'm not positive, hard to tell with these things, but I think that's what this is. It's definitely a unique geode, definitely a fossil of some sort. There it is. Ta-da! Cool little beakite. Two little guys. Aha, uh -huh. what have we here? Let's get after that, see what that's all about. Okay, Rock Hound Towers activate. Ah. All right. Ooh, yes. Barely spotted that one, worth it. Look at that, that is a cool, I don't know what it is. I suspect at one time part of a crinoid. All right, been walking for a minute and haven't spotted anything, but there is a cool one. You can see it's broken there, some crystals exposed. And there was another one that I spotted over here. Where is it? Ah, here it is. Let's uh, dig this guy out here. All right, so here's what those are, or were. This one was a surprise. It's like weirdly flat. I don't know what is going on with that. And this one is super cool. Look at that. Definitely part of a giant geodized crinoid kale. I just spotted another one here. And I don't know what's going on today, but they're all in pairs. There's another one here. Get this little one. It looks like it was broken. I don't know if I'll even take that back. I'm starting to get heavy. Ooh, this one's broken, but it might be cool. Cool piece of red chert here. The chert in this area is from the Burlington Formation. And a lot of the red stuff like this was heat treated. The um, Native Americans would burn it in the fire because sometimes they like their arrowheads to be pink. This creek is freaking glorious. It's kind of uh, weathered, but this is a geodized crinoid stalk. No doubt about it. Super cool find. And with this awesome crinoid plate piece, my small bucket is full, and I'm going to continue on with my large bucket. What have we here? 
There's another little geode. All right, it's getting crazy. I'm gonna take this back and put it in my small bucket because I made it about 20 feet from there. But I don't even know if I'll end up taking this back. I'm gonna have to uh, head down here. Just around the bend there is the farthest I came last time, but I wanna go further, see what else I can find. After finding that crinoid stalk, I'm pretty jacked. I told myself I wasn't gonna pick up any banded shirt, but I'm gonna pick up this piece. All right, officially in virgin territory. And you know what? It is already good. Let's see what that is. see what else I find here. Well, I spotted this one first, but I think I found the one I was looking for. Yeah. Check that out. All right. I'm just going to look around here just a hair more. I think it's time to go back with this guy. Bucket's going to be pretty heavy. And time to head back. All right, so back, got everything pressure washed. Here's the haul. Here's all the stuff that I found and a few things that I got from my friend Sherry who met me there this morning to give me this. This is absolutely awesome. Definitely a geodized fossil found some other cool stuff when I was there. Some of these have really cool crystals. But I'm excited about this that Sherry gave me. This is a Beakite, I think, geodized crinoid calyx. But this is the real gem. This is definitely a crinoid calyx, or sorry, stem, excuse me, caught in the act of geodizing. You can see the quartz kind of oozing out of cracks that it made inside the empty space left by the fossil. And that's how all these form. And I think they're awesome. These geodes are so cool. I don't even want to crack any open because they're, they're cool on the outside. Some of them have amazing color too. Check out this one that Sherry gave me. I'll get it wet because it's kind of scuffed by the creek. Look at the awesome pink color on that. So rock on, everyone. Consider joining Indiana's Fabulous Geodes and Fossils Facebook group if you haven't. It's a great way to uh, network with other rock hounds. And they have lots of cool stuff on there like this. Stuff that I thought could only be found in Indiana, but... It's in Missouri, too. Thanks for watching. Rock on, everyone.